Andre Salz with Mix 107.9 from the 59th Grammy Awards in L.A. at the Staples Center. And it's uh, presented by our friends at Honda Marysville. And we got Sean Brown. Yo. How are you? I'm good, man. How you doing? Good. Uh, we just talk, been talking about this because it's getting pretty busy here. Yeah, it's getting crazy. I hear people cheering next door. What is going on? I know. Uh, well, and it, this is sort of quiet right now because we're right near the stage for the actual Grammy Awards. It's just on the other side right oh, here. Oh, wow. Snap. So every once in a while you'll hear one of the artists that are performing at the Grammy sound yeah. checking over there. That's dope. Yeah, I know, right? So, like a private little concert? Yeah, you that's can cool. just sneak through the black curtain and, you well, that's know. That's actually a great idea. Snapchat or Instagram Live or yeah. anything else like that. And I might just after this interview just go back there and check <laughs> out. So like, Beyonce! If, if, yeah. <laughs> Where's Beyonce at? <laughs> Congrats on the twins! <laughs> yeah, right? And then on TMZ, they like, Sean Brown was locked up today. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sean, uh, you're on the Great Indoors. Yes. And, uh, I mean, it's still relatively new mm -hmm. show on yeah. TV. Um, so for those that haven't seen it yet, mm -hmm. give us sort of a you know, synopsis or overview of, of the show. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so the show is about Joel McHale's character is an outdoor journalist who comes back to the magazine that publishes his work to find that it's now folded and become a magazine, a digital magazine, okay. run by millennials who've never really been right. in the outdoors. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of this you know, conflict between Gen X, millennials, and even baby boomers, uh, and just how those relationships coincide in this work environment. Um, but then as the show has progressed, you start to find like a lot of weird quirks that each character has, a lot of relationships are coming up, and it's been a really fun show, man. It's, yeah. it's one, I don't watch sitcoms, but this sitcom I would watch, which is, of course, I'm biased, <laughs> but like my friends who are all millennials are like, yo, I love the show because it's about us. And right. it's, we say things that you know the younger generation is talking about, and it's not just about laughs and hitting a certain demographic, like we're really pushing the envelope. It's fun. So you said you know you really don't watch sitcoms, so then what yeah. made you go in and audition or, or take this role? in a sitcom? Uh, I wanted to fill my fridge with groceries. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pay rent. I wanted to pay yeah. some rent. No, I, I was reading the script because um, I had other shows that were interested in me, but this show, it felt the most, not to sound like you know a thespian, but it felt the most real to me. You know, I felt yeah. like I can step into this and not have to, to go away and prepare or anything like that. I could just have fun, which is what I've been trying to do more so. I just came off of a a really intense indie drama that I shot in New Orleans. Okay. So where I was in prison for like a month and a half, wow. like an actual prison. So I was like, the next thing I do, I want to laugh, <laughs> like a lot. Uh, and yeah, this came at a perfect time. And I mean, it's Joel McHale, Christopher right. Metzplos, Stephen Fry. Like, if I say no, like punch me in the face, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's, it's been awesome. It's like hitting the lottery as far as, you know, the people you work with and it doesn't feel like a job. Right. You know, it's great. How, so how was it actually shooting within a jail for that, that you know, indie drama that you're talking Bruh, about? Bruh, it was the craziest thing. I, I'll say this. I was three weeks into the shoot. I was like, why? Like, we're the actual prisoners that are here. It's an actual right. functioning prison. And they're like, oh, well, they're in the other wing. This wing was condemned to be unlivable. Oh, and you're like, like, oh, great. Mm, you tell oh, us now. I was wondering where that cough was coming from. <laughs> um, but I was looking at the ceiling during one of the takes. And etched into the ceiling was, uh, dear Lord, help me, I'm in hell. Oh. In, like, some kind of, like, knife. <laughs> there was black mold everywhere. There was nasty stuff still in the toilet. So oh. it, was, it was horrible. Got me into character real quick, <laughs> yeah. dude. Real quick. I was just angry the whole time. And you're like, uh, can we wrap this shooting up right now? <laughs> like, can we, uh, one take. We're, we're going to get in we one take. One we're take. good. We got it, right? Right. No? No? <laughs> um, but it was a learning experience, like, yeah. you know, every project is. And I wanted to start to show my, my dramatic side because I had been doing mostly guest stars in, in sitcoms or, like, Nickelodeon shows. And this was my coming out into I'm actually also a dramatic sure. artist also. So. so doing the great indoors, yeah. um, did you guys sort of have to do any – uh, prep work or research or anything about you know being outside know, right? <laughs> you know or, or hunting or hiking we, or we all of us uh, are really into our phones like actually I'm having anxiety like my, <laughs> where is it right now yeah. but um so for us we are Beyonce <laughs> we are very much what our characters are but we have an episode where we do go camping but it's about us going camping without our phones like without Uber Eats yeah. you know. Um, and it was just, it was, it was real. Like I, in the moment was like, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have my phone. Cause that's the world we live right. in now. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, 
but yeah, not a lot of prep. Just all things that I'm already dealing with in my personal life. Just putting it on the camera, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sean, what else, uh, what else is coming up in 2017 for you? Oh, man. I got a movie coming out in March with Woody Harrelson called Wilson. I have a, a fun little cameo with him in the opening of the film. Uh, I have an action film called Female Fight Club that okay. should be out later in the fall. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. The indie film. We're still waiting to see what happens with that. I think they're going to try to hit the circuit next year for okay. uh, film festivals. And, yeah, man, just, just grinding, just trying to get out there, you know? Awesome. Well, we yeah. look forward to to all of that in 2017. And, of course, a great indoors now. Sean, thank you so much for yeah, stopping watch by. Watch it. Thursdays, we'll, 830 on CBS. And uh, we'll let you jump behind the black curtain right here. We'll find and, Beyonce. And go, I'm going to find those twins. Right? I'll hold Jay-Z off while, sure. while you go find her, for okay? Sure. Yeah, man. All Thanks. right. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it.